Hello students, I hope everybody is having a pleasant day. Come on, let's move to the third part of our second chapter, Parallel Lines. What are the topics we discussed in the previous classes? S. Yes, parallel Lines, Parallelogram, Alternate Angles, Corresponding Angles and its Features. Now we are going to look Supplementary Angles. The two angles are said to be supplementary when they add up to 180 degree. There are two types of supplementary angles, co-interior angles and co-exterior angles. Let's look at a picture of two parallel lines cut by a third line. What is the marked upper angle? Wait, we are going to learn co-interior and co-exterior angles. Co-interior angles lie between two parallel lines and same side of transversal line. And the sum of co-interior angle is 180 degree. That means supplementary angle. So what is the marked upper angle in this figure? We know this is supplementary angle. So upper angle should be 180 minus 50 that is equal to 130 degree. There is such pair of supplementary angle on the left of the slanted line also. The angles in each of these two pairs are called co-interior angles. What is co-interior angles? I have a question. How many pairs of co-interior angles are formed when two lines are cut by a third line? Yes, you are right. The answer is two. When two lines are crossed by a transversal, then angles on same side of transversal and outer side of parallel lines are called co-exterior angles. Then the sum of co-exterior angles is 180 degree. That means supplementary. Place number 27 in your textbook. Let's do this work. In this figure, the line AB and PQ are parallel and the line XY cuts at C and R. We need to find the pairs of co-interior and co-exterior angles. What are the first pairs of co-interior angle? We know co-interior angles lies between two parallel lines and same side of transversal line. So the pairs angle ACY and angle PRX. We know angle ACY is 60 degree and angle PRX is 120 degree. So their sum is 60 plus 120 that is equal to 180 degree. Likewise, second set of co-interior angle is angle BCY and angle QRX. We know that angle BCY is 120 degree and angle QRX is 60 degree. So there is some 180 degree. Then we need to find co-exterior angle. What is co-exterior? Yes, same side of transversal and outer side of parallel line. So the first pair of co-exterior is angle ACX and angle PRY. We know angle ACX is 120 degree and angle PRY is 60 degree. So they are sum 180 degree. Likewise, second set of co-exterior angle is angle BCX and angle QRY. Angle BCX is 60 degree and angle QRY is 120 degree. Their sum is 180 degree. So my dear students, please draw this figure and write down co-interior and co-exterior angles in your notebook as your homework. Look here. Can you write the measure of three angles? What is the sum of all angles? Can you write the measures of other three angles? We know opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram. So here, 
60 degree. What is the sum of two angles on the left? Yes, 180 degree. So here, 180 minus 60, 120 degree. We also know that sum of co-interior angle is 180 degree. What about those on the right? Yes, you are right, 180 degree. So, sum of four angles of a parallelogram is 180 plus 180, 360 degree. This question is very simple to answer. If you remember that all parallelogram have two pairs of equal and opposite angles and the four angles of any quadrilateral must add up to 360 degree. Hope you all understood. Move to next topic. Here, two angles are given in a triangle. We need to find out the third angle. We have already learned for interior angle, alternate angle. Do you remember that? Okay. First, we have to extend. Why? Because there is no parallel line zero. So, we have to make parallel line by extending AC and from B also. Now, these two lines are parallel and this is the transversal. We know Co-interior angles are supplementary, that means 180 degree. So here, 180 minus 50, that's equal to 130. So how we find out this angle? Yes, 130 minus 70, that's equal to 60 degree. If these two lines are parallel and this is the another transversal, so here, Yes, we know that this is alternate angle. So here, 60 degree. We have already learned parallel line and co-interior angle and alternate angle. Right? With the help of this, we have find out this angle. Now we have to add all this. We get 50 degree plus 70 degree plus 60 degree. That's equal to 180 degree. That means sum of angles of any triangle is 180 degree. This is very important. If you take any triangle, you will get the sum of angles 180 degree. Students, please take your notebook and draw more triangle. I'm sure you will get sum of angles of triangles 180 degree. This is a speciality of triangle and this is called angle sum property. If the measure of the angles of a triangle is A degree, B degree and C degree, then the sum of angles of a triangle is A degree plus B degree plus C degree that's equal to 180 degree. Okay, today we learn supplementary angles, co-interior angles and co-exterior angles. And we discuss one important point. What is that? Yes, sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Let's wind up the class. Stay cool, be happy, have a nice day, thank you.